In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the latest 22H2 version of Windows 11. So let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so Microsoft has now released the new version of Windows 11, which is the 22H2 version, which many of you guys have been waiting for Microsoft to release. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install it using a few methods that you can use as well. So the first method is you open up Windows Settings, and then click on the Windows Update tab, and over here go ahead and click on Resume Updates. Now here as you can see, it's right now checking for updates, you just have to wait for a few minutes for it to check for updates. And then it'll probably show up the 22H2 version of Windows 11, from where you can just directly download and install the update. Just in case it doesn't show up there, you can go ahead and click on the link in the description. I'll open up this website right here. That is Microsoft's official download page for Windows 11. Now here we have a few options. The first one is the Windows 11 installation assistant, which you can just directly download from this button right here. And then start downloading the Windows 11 installation assistant which you can run on your computer and it'll automatically install the latest 22H2 version of Windows 11. Now below that is another option that says create Windows 11 installation media, which does two things. One is you can just directly download the ISO file using this media creation tool, or you can just use the media creation tool to make a bootable USB or DVD drive, which will contain the latest version of Windows 11. Now once you've opened up the media creation tool, all you gotta do is just accept the license terms. Over here just select the language and the edition of Windows 11. And then click on next. Now here as you can see just like I said earlier, you have the option to select a USB flash drive for which you'll be needing a USB that has at least 8GB of storage. Otherwise you can just select the second option that is the ISO file which you can download onto your computer and then burn it onto a DVD later. If you selected the ISO option, you'll just have to choose the location where you want to download the ISO, click on save, and then it'll start downloading the ISO file. Now here the last option we have here is to download the Windows 11 disk image file or the ISO file. This is for users that want to create a bootable installation media like a USB or a DVD or for people that want to create an ISO file to install Windows 11 manually. Now here all you gotta do is just click on the drop down menu over here, select Windows 11 Multi Edition ISO, click on download, and then obviously choose the language, click on confirm, and select the 64-bit download option, and over here as you can see it has started downloading the Windows 11 22H2 version of Windows 11. Just have to wait for it to completely download, and then you can just directly run it, and install the latest version of Windows 11. And yeah guys, that's the end of this video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give this video a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button with notifications turned on. Because I'm going to be uploading another video in which I'm going to show you guys how to install the latest Windows 11 22H2 version on an unsupported PC or laptop. Until then, see you later. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.